What's up folks? My name is Kerry. Today I want to talk to you about options that I think you need to consider before you purchase your single wide park model or tiny home. So let's get started. You're probably sitting there thinking, why am I watching this guy waste my time? I already know about the granite countertops. I already know about this, the gas fire, electric fireplace. And I already know about the bathroom upgrades I can get. Those are all great, sure. But I'm not gonna be talking about those today because those are obvious. I've been doing this for 10 years and here are the things that people miss or they overlook. And I think they're more important. So let's get started. Number one, I think this is the most important of the three, pot lights. Put some pot lights in this thing. They're not expensive if you do it at the factory. And what's worse than having a nice well-lit kitchen? You got a nice well-lit bathroom you've got well-lit bedrooms. Where are you spending the most of your time? In the living room. And a lot of people don't put any lighting in the living room and they don't notice it when they're on the dealer's lot. Then they get home, they go to read a book. This is a cheap option as well. Well, it's not cheap, but it's worth it. So the house I've got coming, I paid just over $100 per pot light. And if you think about doing it after the fact, get an electrician in, he's got to tear into your ceiling, he's got to fish wires down the walls to put the switches in, all of that, it's gonna be a lot more expensive than $100 per pot light. So four pot lights in the living room is gonna be plenty. Definitely think about that before you order your next park model, single wide, or tiny home. What's next? Okay. Number two. Lino from front to back. What we've got now are linoleums that look like hardwood. So you can get rid of the carpet in the living room, get rid of the carpet in the bedrooms, because guess what? Nobody wants that anymore. Some people, like my dad, like to step out of bed onto something warm and comfortable. Okay, fine. He can get an area rug and he can step out and be cozy and whatever. But Get rid of the carpet, nobody wants it, it's hard to keep clean, dogs are always ruining it, cats are always ruining it, whatever other pet you might have, I don't really know. But here's the best part. On the house I just ordered, this is what I did. I got a nice looking linoleum that looks like hardwood, put it all the way through, and the price, zero dollars in, it's just a freaking wash. So I'm paying zero dollars to end up with something that is gonna drastically improve my usability in the home or whoever ends up buying it. And it looks better, it looks more modern and it didn't cost me a penny. Get that on your list of things you need to talk about your dealer with. Make that trade. It may not be zero with whoever you're dealing with. Everybody's a little bit different. Don't hold that against them but definitely ask a question because in my opinion, you're gonna be happier. Number three, full tile backsplash. A little bit obvious, sure, but it looks good, it's functional, and depending on the size of the kitchen, it's pretty affordable. So, why do you wanna get that? A, looks good. B, maybe you're like me, you're a little bit clumsy. You also like spaghetti, you like it saucy. You're trying to move the pot of spaghetti sauce from the stove to the sink. You trip, drop it on the counter. Now it's behind on the wall behind the stove. Okay, what are you gonna wanna clean it off? Vinyl cover, jip rock or drywall? Because you got the standard one tile or maybe even a little chunk of arborite behind your counters? Or a full tile backsplash, which I did. Just wipe it off, you just buff it right off of there, no problem. Best part about this, depending on the size of the kitchen, it's not overly expensive. The house I've got on order, I've got the full tile backsplash. Maybe it's gonna end up a spaghetti eater like myself buys it, they're gonna be happy. All I paid for that full tile backsplash in the kitchen was $313. Now it's spaghetti eater approved and it looks good and whoever owns it is gonna be happy. $313 is money well spent Definitely consider this option before you place an order on your park model, tiny home, or single wide. That's all I've got for today. If you like this video or found any of this information helpful, 
hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to my page. I'm gonna be coming back with more information, um, just my thoughts about this industry and some of the projects I'm working on, so definitely check back. Thanks.